I'm starting a series on emotional intelligence where we're going to explore the four different components of EQ. Typically, when people talk about EQ, they're talking about how well people perceive, understand, manage, and use emotions. Are you able to sense when a person is sad? Are you able to understand why you're feeling a certain way in a certain moment? Can you help yourself or someone else feel less scared when you need to? Are you able to use your anger in a positive and pro-social way? That and more coming right, up. So let's talk about the first component of emotional intelligence, perceiving. Perceiving is the ability to recognize emotions in others. It's the capacity to interact with someone and recognize how they might be feeling. And not just in person, but over the phone, via text, via email. Is this person angry, sad, scared, guilty, jealous? Not just that, but the ability to recognize it in art, movies, film, literature, and All right, so let's talk about the second component of emotional intelligence, understanding. Understanding is not just knowing what we're feeling, but why we're feeling it, and what the relationships are between those feelings and other feelings. And not just our feelings, but our thoughts and behaviors too. Why am I feeling this way? What thoughts and behaviors are driving it? And how is it related to other things I might be feeling? All right, so it's time for part four of my series on emotional intelligence. We're gonna talk about managing. So most people know what managing emotions is when it comes to themselves. It's how you handle your emotions in the moment, being able to calm down, control your fear, and so on. But managing emotions is also about your ability to help other people. When you come across another person who's anxious, can you help them relax? Can you de-escalate an angry situation? Do you know how to help a sad person feel better? All of that is managing. All right, so let's talk about the last component of emotional intelligence, using. Using your emotions is about harnessing their power for particular tasks. It's about knowing what you need to be feeling in order to perform best, and then being able to get into that feeling state. So maybe you're an artist and you know you perform best when you're a little bit sad. Maybe you're most creative when you're happy. Maybe you're an athlete, so anger is when you perform best. It's about knowing that and getting into those mood states. So I've been talking a lot about emotional intelligence. How do you develop it? There's no simple way, so I'm gonna go through a couple things. Number one, arts and literature. Reading in particular is all about developing emotional intelligence because you're essentially forcing yourself to see things from another person's perspective. You're spending time in another person's brain understanding their emotional motivations. You become emotionally smarter in doing so. So here's another post on how to develop emotional intelligence. Take time to reflect on your emotional experiences after the fact. When you experience a strong emotion, take time to think about what happened, how you felt, what thoughts you had, and what you did. If it's someone else who had a strong emotion, take time to think about all those things, but from their perspective. Walk through each part and even think about alternatives. How could I or they have felt about this? Right, so here's one more post on how to develop emotional intelligence. Reflect on your successful experiences and think about the mood you were in at the time. When did you play your best ever sport, do your best presentation, or do your best on an exam? What mood were you in while you were doing it, but also leading up to it? Because chances are your success came in part from that mood state. Then think about what you can intentionally do to get yourself there next time.